We've been telling you about some local businesses that have seen less than expected sales this week with the RNC, but some out of towners tell us they're doing pretty well. Five year side investigator Jonathan Walsh has been on the move all week. So, Jonathan, you mean to tell me there's money to be made on three wheels? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, we've talked about getting around downtown with things like Uber, even Segways, two wheels, right? Well, what about pedicabs? They're also called rickshaws. Well, they are certainly getting people through traffic, and drivers are making some cash along the way. Sometimes I work 12 hours a day. I think my longest shift has been 16 hours. Blaze J is from Wisconsin, traveled to Cleveland with this camper. And then I have a gym membership that I shower at. Her camper is complete with a generator to keep things cool, all while business is hot. How much you run? Uh, right now, I'm hired out. This is Blaze's first political convention, and so far, she's keeping the wheels of her economy Sometimes, going. Like, it's been consistent. Uh, not everybody wants to ride, but they're still plentiful. She's worked many big gigs across the country, including Mardi Gras, and she plans to pedal her wares at next year's Super Bowl in Houston, Texas. When it's bumper to bumper traffic, we are the fastest way around. Yeah. Blaze has been picking up passengers this week and taking them to parties, events, restaurants throughout the downtown area. Blaze is joining several other pedicab drivers who are using their leg power late in the day, all surrounded by security. You drive around at night and cop on every corner so you'll run into 20 cops just going around a block by the end of the convention she told me riders will foot her bills and we definitely have a lot of stories to tell back out here live blaze told me most riders are pretty good about keeping their political views to themselves but one in about five riders grills her about politics i guess that's the price of business here at the rnc Reporting live here in downtown, I'm investigator Jonathan Walsh, News Channel 5.